What's up guys, I'm Claymore and today I'm going to be accepting the realism challenge and the object that I chose is called a hand spinner. Uh, it's a fidget toy for people with restless hands and I use this thing every single day. I've done realism in the past so I'm pretty excited to be able to go back to it and see what I can do now. Jumping right into it to start off, I use a construction line brush to just try and work out all of the proportions and getting those angles to line up the best I can. With the spinner at a slight tilt, I found it difficult to nail down the perspective right off the bat, so I decided to just fix it along the way. Now that I have my construction lines pretty much done, I decide to start picking base tones and I go through and I block in all of my colors before I move into any real detail. Now to choose my colors, I just you know looked at my reference as closely as I could working with my slider until the color basically matched as close as I could get it and then I just painted from there.
Something that I find useful to remember when doing realism is sometimes the minor color changes that barely really make a difference or really makes it feel real. Not every color change is bold or really all that visible. When adding your brightest highlights, don't go overboard. If everything is brightly highlighted, then it reduces the impact that your highlights should make. So just calm it down a bit. And there you go, I accepted the realism challenge and I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. If you've done the realism challenge and want to share, you should go ahead and send it to my Twitter, at Claymore Concept. I would love to see it. I'll leave the link down in the description for you guys. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to watch me live, then come join me on my Twitch channel. You can also follow me on Twitter to, to chat and get uh, frequent updates. So have a good one and I'll see you next time.